In the U.S., cases of COVID caused by the Omicron variant are soaring and expected to get worse in the coming weeks. The strain is being felt in hospitals. New records are being set with daily infections rising past last winter's pandemic peak in northeast states like Delaware, New Jersey, New York and Massachusetts, but also Hawaii and Puerto Rico. There is no federal solution. This gets solved at a state level. I'm Speaking to the nation's governors in a virtual meeting on Monday, U.S. President Joe Biden admitted White House efforts to combat the highly contagious Omicron variant have been insufficient. But it's not enough. It's clearly not enough. If I'd, we'd known we would have gone harder, quicker if we could have. But new reporting indicates the Biden administration was pushed to ramp up testing as far back as October in anticipation of a holiday COVID surge, but declined. Biden denies the report. We didn't reject it. Still, while Biden announced a half billion at-home rapid tests would be distributed to Americans free of charge, the tests won't be available until January. Too late for those wanting to test before holiday gatherings. But we have to do more. We have to do better. And we will. Local mayors and governors aren't waiting. In some states, the National Guard has been called in to support hospitals. In Washington, D.C., the mayor called for volunteers to assemble rapid test kits. Hundreds lined up for hours at libraries to receive one. Lines at airports are even worse. Hundreds of flights have been canceled. Airlines are struggling to maintain staff as workers are getting sick or having to quarantine. Kimberly Helkin, Al Jazeera, the White House.